I'm Rahul Talari. I'm a senior machine learning engineer at CoreWeave. I'll be doing a demonstration of Determined AI on CoreWeave Cloud that helps you run distributed machine learning jobs on a variety of GPUs um, and with custom configs to set up Infinite. Let's get started. Um, so to start, uh, you would go to the catalog and you would search for Determined. Um, and once once you go to determine, uh, you'll be able to see a bunch of documentation, of which is to set up the core weave object storage, uh, which is mandatory to be able to store checkpoints for determined models that run, and also install the determined CLI on your VM so you can run experiments. Um, there's there's a bunch of config values that uh, are defaults and and some that you should set, including the core weave object storage bucket name, access key, and secret key. Um, uh, once once you deploy it, you'll be able to connect to master uh, with the notes given to you, along with connecting to the web UI to monitor and watch uh, your training jobs. Um, you, you'll also be able to run uh, many of the examples provided by Determine um, on CoreWeave Cloud, um, and also run custom training jobs uh, that are multi-GPU, multi-node, uh, and have custom parameters such as infinite band. You'll also be able to mount a PVC if you want to store a large amount of data that you need to run your training jobs. So to deploy this, uh, we'll have to give it a name. So we'll call it test2. Um, this is the region that will be deployed in. Um, uh, we can leave the VCP request to uh, default um, if we want, or change them. The default is eight VCPs and 32 gigs of memory. Uh, a bunch, a variety of GPUs are available, uh, and we'll choose the A40. Um, you give your bucket name that you created uh, on Core Weave Cloud. Um, and then you have to provide your access key and your secret key. Um, you can also configure available volumes uh, to be able to mount PVCs if you want. Um, so once we click deploy, uh, this is what it's going to look like. Uh, so there are two pods that are that will become ready. And once they're ready, you can access the, the UI via this URL. Um, you can also access uh, the CLI by, by running this command. Um, and uh, you'll once once you go to the UI, you your your username is admin with the blank password, which is highly recommended to be changed. Um, you can also add and edit user permissions with the, the CLI. Um, so the UI looks like this. Um, so this is the UI once you click on on this URL, and uh, as you can see here, we run ran a few training jobs. Um, and you have a, a other features such as model registry to store your checkpoints for uh, downstream tasks such as inference and fine tuning. So let's run an experiment. Um, so, so the first thing you need to do is uh, copy this line and paste it. Um, and then you can check whether uh, you're connected to the master. Um, as you can see here, we've seen that it's connected and then it's showing uh, uh, the status of our, both our experiments. Um, so we can create an experiment now um, with uh, this YAML file that uh, has 16 slots per trial, which is two uh, pods uh, consisting of eight GPUs each uh, on uh, a multi-node uh, work a job. Um, and we provide the, the path for the source code uh, that will allow for this entry point to run. So let's go ahead and create the experiment. So as you can see here, experiment three has been created um, and you can go to the UI uh, and monitor the experiment. Um, so it's queued right now, it's waiting for resources. Um, we can go and check uh, the one, ones that have been completed to understand uh, the, the logic uh, behind, behind how this job works. Um, so it starts by waiting for the resources um, and once the scheduler finds the available resources, which are 16 GPUs. It, it launches the job um, and pulls the container, loads in the config. Uh, as you can see here, it detected 16 GPUs in total uh, on two nodes, um, and then validates the checkpoint storage uh, and then runs the training job. Uh, it runs the training job, downloads the data, and uh, as we keep going, um, it actually starts training the model. Um, so as you can see here, it create, trains the model on GPUs on, on our NVIDIA A40s um, and uh, completes the training. Um, so so it, it completes the training um, and uh, it reports the checkpoint to master uh, and uh, shuts down once, uh, once all the um, uh, 
uh, the once the workload has been executed. Um, so that's that's an overview of, of uh, determined AI and how to run an experiment. Um, there's a lot more documentation available on Four Weave Cloud as well as uh, docs uh, for determined. Thank you. Uh, if you need any other help, uh, you should reach out to sales at fourweave.com or support at fourweave.com for regarding any more information. Thank you for your time, uh, and I hope you enjoyed this demonstration.